But today is all about Muriel, and as you'll all be well aware, when we were doing the first incarnation of this show, a documentary was made, which therefore told a kind of a story about finding and discovering our Muriel, Maggie McKenna. And everyone knows that story because it was on telly and we've all followed it and we all thought it was very exciting and marvellous, and it was. Uh, but it, it made the idea of finding Muriel again seem particularly daunting because of the kind of feeling that it was very hard to find a Muriel, which it is, and that we had found possibly the only one in Australia. But that's where we were wrong. <laughs> because uh, we went into extensive auditions and I think it's safe to say that Kate and Kieran, PJ and I had slightly heavy hearts because PJ only just found Tony Collette by the skin of his teeth and we felt we'd lucked out with Maggie and then the most, I can honestly say, the most glorious and fortuitous things happened which is that Natalie Abbott walked into the room of the Muriel's auditions and suddenly, you know, in the, in the shallow way of show business, all thoughts of Maggie McKenna vanished from our <laughs> <laughs> Who, Maggie, who? We suddenly realised she hadn't been right at all. She'd been quite mediocre, not very suitable. And we had found the real Muriel, Natalie Abbott. And so I would like now to have given her as, as a long and impressive an entrance as this room will allow. Now, coming from the back of the room, all the way to the front, is Natalie. I haven't seen Natalie since uh, her auditions and we sent word to her via the cast and director that she got the role. So I suppose, Nat, the first thing you want to say to me is thank you in very <laughs> Thank you for making my life brilliant, pretty much. And just, no, honestly, honestly, more, thank you. More, <laughs> a little just... bit more, like something that's <laughs> over the top. I <laughs> will never be happier than what I am now, and I owe it all to you. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to hear. I small crumbs of appreciation of my long and arduous career. Um, it is true though, this is, this is basically your first professional gig. This is, this is... I will, That's I... called a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is actually my very first professional anything really and so this is anybody's dream come true that this is what it is and and i've i've got something as amazing as this musical and get to work with a team as incredible as this team and meet the people who i've met along the way so far and it's only just the beginning so yeah this probably is at this stage you say like the amazing crowd that's gathered the here the amazing today. crowd that's gathered here today everyone's so beautiful and and so <laughs> Yeah, really. It's, it's, yeah, this is just the dream. One of the great things about Muriel, of course, is that because of the very nature of the story, it allows us to find someone like Natalie, who doesn't get cast in the parts for six foot tall, leggy chorus girls, but indeed can bring everything magnificent to Muriel. So we're so thrilled. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and, you know, as luck would have it, Natalie turned out to be talented as well as having a fantastic personality and being extraordinarily appealing. And we're about to prove that because she's going to sing something from the show now. Um, this is the first song that Muriel sings and she sings it in the, in the context of having uh, just been berated by her so-called friends at the wedding of Tanya, the, the, uh, the queen of the set. And uh, they've given her a hard time and they have said, you know, the famous words, no one will ever want to marry you, Muriel. And this is the defiant little, some would call it ditty, <laughs> that Kate and Keir penned to articulate uh, Muriel's inner monologue at that stage. I hope it goes really well, Thank Matt. You. You know, yeah. Lots riding on it. Yeah. No pressure, but everyone's very high expectations now. Yeah. Oh, 
I built you up big time. Please don't let me down. <laughs> Okay. 